In the world of badminton, rivalries come and go, but some battles etch themselves into the annals of history. Today, we dive into one such electrifying clash. It's a story of two legendary titans, Lin Dan and Li Chong Wei, meeting on the court in the twilight of their careers, all set against the backdrop of the 2015 China Open. Get ready to relive the magic, the drama, and the triumph of Li Chong Wei in this captivating journey. Our story begins at a time when legends were approaching the twilight of their careers. Li Chong Wei had recently returned from an anti-doping rule violation, leaving his legacy in question. Lin Dan, seated third in the Super Series Premier Tournament, had faced his own share of early exits. The question on everyone's lips was, could they still weave their magic on the court? But Li Chong Wei's resurgence was a story worth telling. After tasting victory at the French Open, he arrived at the China Open with a fire in his belly, determined to prove that he still had the heart of a champion. As the tournament unfolded, both players encountered early hurdles, raising doubts about their form. But destiny had its plans. With each passing match, it became clear that a showdown between these badminton legends was inevitable. The moment of reckoning arrived in the semi-finals, and the atmosphere was electric. Lin Dan enjoyed the roaring support of his home crowd and seized the first game, 21-17. The stage was set for an extraordinary clash, a test of nerves, skill, and determination. What happened next can only be described as a badminton epic. Li Chong Wei, renowned for his indomitable mental strength, faced an uphill battle. But under the intense pressure of the match, he remained as calm as a seasoned warrior. With jaw-dropping displays of skill, agility, and sheer grit, he orchestrated a heart-stopping 17-21, 21-19, 21-19 victory. But this victory was not just another title, it was history in the making. With this triumphant win, Li Chongwei etched his name into the golden pages of badminton history as the very F 